Oh, how's it? Guess what's working? Looks like flippers working. How's it? Welcome to Mongoose Max channel. I'll probably be doing the newspaper in a bit. How's it? Aloha. Yeah, I'm surrounded myself with these little these devices. I'm surrounded. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii and newspaper. Today we have a special guest. <laughs> Electronic guest. Mm. Mm. This guess guess who's uh working today? Yeah, yeah, it looks like uh Yeah. It's Flippa with the flip screen. I can see I can frame this self. Wow, man, I'm just like, I'm learning everything. I'm just like re reinventing the wheel. That's right, because that's how you learn things practical. Okay, today we're going to go over the newspaper and um, have as much fun as that we can without being too ludicrously close to the edge. Yes, cryptocurrency, girl. Cryptocurrency wallet. Keep mining. Keep mining. Today is 20, 2020. That's right, it's another one of those days. We're gonna have that once a month, all year long, for the rest of two more months, I guess. <laughs> okay, we have a visitor, uh, giant visitor count. Everyone's concerned about voting. Ah, the votes, I think the votes are over with. They're just mailed in, or to be mailed in. Mail them in. Ah. So apparently, on 10 2020, uh, thumbnail. Just a. What is he thinking? What the? I don't know. Just make a goofy face. There's my meaning. How meaningful is that? Now, Oahu voters prefer Biden. Well,. Hawaii has generally been a democratic state since its inception as a state or incorporation as a state, is it? It's annexed and then it's given statehood. But Hawaii has been given statehood in 1959. Like when I got here back in the day, uh, I was a youngster, first grade, but the state was only, you know, seven years old. <laughs> it was only been a state for seven years. They, the frontier. Uh, so the first person they elected as a governor was this guy. Uh, was it John Burns? It's governor Burns, B-U-R-N-S, uh, and he, you know, was people wanted the issues of what everybody wants because it's a brand new state. The focus is on the people. So they automatically like gravitated democratic and since Hawaii like status quo and don't fix something that's you know if it ain't broke don't fix it but even if it's broke don't fix it <laughs> status quo philia of status quo that it's been democratic ever since so now the democratic party is like the status quo old crony inner circle corrupt crony all the bad stuff you think about the Republican Party is kind of like the Democratic Party here so it's kind of weird but uh, they do have party uh, political parties are political parties there's way too much emphasis on political parties it's not the government political parties are not the government people everybody shot from the rooftops mongooses and maxes political parties are not the government what a side note that people came up with that. Anyways, God, we're just running out of time. Okay, so that they both, I don't know, that's one factor. But I don't know, Pumpkinhead on the other side is creating some other factors. And the grand old party is, geez, that's all splitting apart because it's so weird. Now, now that we're done with politics, thank you. 
I'll find never speak of it again. Doubt that'll happen. Only two more weeks till election day. And also, look at this. 2.9% infection rate. 2.9%. They got this new little thing that looks like all cool now. It's like quick reference. What's it today? 61.9 <clears throat> people. In fact, 31 new cases. Daily cases, 61.9. No comment on the decimal. Uh, but 2.9%. Okay. That means Thursday uh, this week, I think, we're able to open up the tier two unless something buggles it up. <laughs> so, so everyone's gonna be watching everybody else. Hey, where am I? Go to tier two already. Slap your head. <laughs> it's gonna be like that. So, oh, here it is in the local business affairs. Let's cover the ones that are of significance. Tier two. Tier two. I tier one. Not tier two. Two tears. Look at that two tears. Two tears. That's a different. That means something different. You don't go there. Arr. They're, they're prison stories. Ah, okay. U.S. presidential. Okay, we did that. Bill mandates. Blah, blah. Let's mm -mm, uh -uh. run. Oh, and um, now that we're on the thing uh, about wear your mask in tier two and all that stuff. We have a grim benchmark level. Uh, hey, can you focus on that? Yeah, freaking focus. 40 million people worldwide. 40 million people. Four zero million people have been confirmed with this so don't be telling me the earth is flat without your mask on It'll be some serious like slap upside the head stuff going on get that hell get that crap out of my head but long respects <laughs> like subscribe put different crap in your head <laughs> chase out the other crap all right, at least I'm not trying to be okay. Blah 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 blah. I don't know about that. Trump running angry hits polls, press Fauci. Oh, so he's punching away now. He's he's getting angry. Like, damn it. Damn it. I felt the coffin. Damn it. I don't know if I'm. He's worried if he's not. Because it's one thing to say you're immune, I'm to be immune. I must be immune. This new treatment. I must be. He's getting the best medical treatment you can get, right? I must be immune. <clears throat> a little like worry or a little cough or something. And oh man, I don't care what you tell the world. You're gonna be thinking. So he's getting peed. Oh, you know, it's like starting to get him thinking inside. So he's hitting the press. He's in Tucson, Arizona. Anger, anger, swinging Monday against Dr. Anthony Fauci because obviously he's a doctor and it's all his fault. And along with Democratic Joe Biden, Keith, oh yeah, Biden, pee -pee. what did he call him, Sleepy Biden, or is he getting a new nickname, I don't know, it's all kind of ludicrous at a certain point, relief and balance as deadline news, mm -hmm. because people are going to have to start looking at this economic buildup or whatever the freaking, uh, oh gosh, France cracks down from the, on the enemy within, yeah, that teacher thing, uh, they cut the teacher's head off and, uh, Chetnian that was, uh, I think he was operating on his own, but uh, they got him, they got him good. <laughs> he no longer walks the earth, uh, but that kind of stuff is just, you know, it's just, it's extremist, <clears throat> and it's not against Islam or Islam people, it's the extremists, there's like certain extremists that are just freaking whack. <clears throat> which is bad apple and the whole bunch, I must say. And here we come to the letters to the editor. What are we all done? We're done with all this stuff. Vaccine. Oh, yeah, look at vaccines. I didn't mention it before. There's vaccines. Aren't you excited? Vaccines. They're everywhere. China's got four vaccines. They just like giving them to people. <laughs> it's like sick to you guys. Uh, we think you're kind of like online or at risk and frontline work. 
Dang, you can just line them up. It's like instant. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, <clears throat> it was tested just now when we finished fascinating all those people. <laughs> I think it's see what works. They're going to be the first people to just have one that works because they're just going to have like four different vaccines. Bam, people up with it. Va Anti-vaxxers too. Watch out. In China. I know. I protest that. <laughs> He's, walk He's, walk He's walking doors. What was that? Blow, blow gun. <laughs> That's a new way to disp dispense the, the vaccine. Be a blow gun. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff you gotta listen to. Bungus Max Invasion. Because the crazy stuff is the zombie apocalypse. You know, Bungus Max Invasion is not crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> hmm. Let's get on with it there. Get on with it. So, um, but just because they got a vaccine doesn't mean. It's all cure from here on out. It's, um, they got to test them, see if it works, see if there's side effects, all that kind of stuff. Basically, does it even freaking work? Right. And then, see, they get one, they get one that works. It's like, oh, joy to the world. We got the vaccine that works. Okay, eventually it's going to get somewhere to that point. Part two of that. Okay, people, get in line. And then it's a pot, you know, zombie apocalypse all over again. I Me mean, first. The president's gonna get one. There's armpit. I'm immune. Oh god, I stop harping on that guy. I just put stop giving him energy. There's all this herd immunity. Oh, that's in herd with your ear. Herd immunity. I heard it would just go away. I heard it was a cure. Apoxic good. I heard muscles make you sick. I heard it's the democratic hoax 5G bleach. I heard kids don't get sick, and then they got a bunch of MAGA. Remember that Tea Party? Didn't tea, the Tea Party evolve into magma, magma, MAGA? Make America goof again. Mapuna Puna. Back to letters to the editor because opinions matter. Opinions matter. Now stay there. <laughs> oh shit! Just a second. This little seven-minute thing is like drive me crazy. Nah, this one not even right now. I just have no clue. So far, so good. Um, yeah, because I'm like trying to do play up to, hey, 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 and it's like off. So you guys win. <laughs> we'll put up, we'll see what we got here on the menu. Technology will reduce the need to ride hmm, the train, the rail. Without unions, workers struggle, rich get richer. I think it's the other way around. <clears throat> Maybe we'll take that one. ACA is weak substitute for universal health care. Oh my god, let's get the ones with or without tests visitors fly together. I think we covered that. You know, you get your tests, you just think you get stuck inside the plane for five hours. <laughs> yeah. Have we given up on diversifying economy? I don't know. I think probably. Our owner represents Hawaii, but it doesn't. Yeah, screw local politics. I already voted. it. Plus, I don't want to be like endorsing. I'm kind of gearing Monkus Max Hawaii for people who want to tune into some Hawaii, but it's also like hope my friends in Hawaii kind of like watch it. That's why I got three viewers. So watch all the way to the end. <laughs> Lots of view time. Like, I would not recommend the notification button. You'll drive yourself crazy. I'm trying to stick these out all the time. Okay, stop talking about yourself. Unions. Without unions, workers struggle. Rich get richer. Unions have helped workers in Hawaii earn a living wage. 
Without unions, the rich get richer at the expense of the worker, even today in predominantly democratic Hawaii. Why don't we vote for a minimum wage of $15 per hour? So our youth don't feel they must leave. Leave? Francis Chain Bololo. Um, yeah, voting for minimum wage. Thank you, Francis. <coughs> I, I don't know. Guy or girl. Forget that. Um, thank you, Francis. That sounds heartfelt. I, I guess, yeah, yeah, it sounds a little heartfelt. <clears throat> when you vote for minimum wage increase, that's nothing to do with unions. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. That's uh, the state government doing a kind of a mandate through the legislation of the state. And then they put out that thing. Or the country, then it's Congress. Yeah. Yeah. Venice, you know, it's a civil war going on inside Congress. Yeah, damn Yankee, <laughs> rebel yell. Eh, uh, hey. Goes to Lincoln. God damn it, I thought I quelled this. Bleep. <clears throat> so anyways, um, back to the thing here. When you vote for a wage increase, that's nothing to do with unions. One, I don't know if that's doing two separate issues here but unions have helped workers in hawaii earn a living wage yes because that's what unions do in the past unions were to protect the workers really and then as you pay your union dues the unions get huge and they get very powerful and they lobby people politicians that go in there so basically the tail wags the dog the unions wag the, the, the dog is the unions. The tail wagon is the state a lot, you know, just generalized. So you look at politicians here, I'm backed by union, union, union. They're going to get in. They get backed by the policeman union, the fireman union, the bus driver union, the especially the gar garbage collector, the sanitation technician <laughs> union. Because if they go on strike, we're up kimchi alley, right? So... Um, unions hold a lot of power. If you're part of a union, you're in. You get job security, you get you know, good wages and all this stuff. If you're not part of the union and you're in the workforce, tough titties. And the unions are your enemy. They're working, it's actually the forces that be would be working against you. So unions aren't, and unions take up so much money that the union, it's like a communist government, you know. It's good when it's small, but when it gets big, like Soviet or, or China, when it gets big, the, the, the state part of the communist government, and then the people part are just standing in bread lines and being thrown into the gulag or being shot in the middle of Tiananmen Square. It's not good for the people. Unions are like that, on a small scale. <laughs> How about I'm kill, get killed by Teamsters? Screw you guys, anyways. They act like good. They act like thugs too. And wherever there's money, they're there. Just like the mob. I'm half Italian. <laughs> Herd immunity. <laughs> I heard it in a movie. Uh, I don't know about all this stuff. Let me do a small one here. ACA, that's uh, Obamacare. Like, Obama didn't really have that much to do with it. What well, is a weak substitute for universal health care? It's probably true. It's like a halfway mark. Nicholas Kristof over, said, over the last hundred years, advanced countries have, one by one, adopted universal health care systems, with one notable exception, the United States. Because we're stupid. I mean, we're smart. We're free. We do what we want. <laughs> Star advertiser, blah, 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 quote, he said that, quote, one political party in America is trying to join the rest of the world and provide universal health care. Hmm. He must have written this in the early February when Bernie Sanders, burn with the Bernie, was the leading Democratic candidate for president. Unfortunately, Joe Biden, when he becomes president, will stick with the Barack Obama's wasteful and completely inadequate affordable health care. Affordable Care Act. 
and in the United States will continue to trail all advanced countries with the least coverage of its residents at the highest per person cost. Bob Carmen, Koloa Koai. <coughs> yeah, yeah, dang. <coughs> Affordable care act, man. But dismantle that and a ton of people don't have health care. People need insulin or this medicine or whatever, those, you know, underlying health problems that everyone snubs their noses on. At least I'm not going to get the virus. I don't have to worry about it. I don't know underlying conditions. Those people with underlying conditions go for kind of like, a, you know, <clears throat> need continuing care, little medical visits here and there. But here's the thing. Is this camera working? No. And I turn it off. These damn buttons are confusing up here. The stupid little buttons. Push the button. Oh, let's say that. Quickly charge. I mean it. Don't push the button. <laughs> Doctor Strange Love. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is here. Doctor Strange Love. Oh, who was that? Oh yeah. New news technology. I'm so knowledgeable about my opinions. No, but here we go. If you take away uh, Bob Common, no well, thanks for the editor in the, in the topic. So if you take away you Affordable Care Act, you don't have something to replace it. And that's what the GOP was lacking when they said, oh, get that out of there, there's problems with it. Well, they don't have an alternative. So it's going to go back to these. It's going to get knocked back like 15 years ago, something like that, where uh, if you don't have money, you don't get medical care. And then there's like these drug addicts and alcoholics and weird people, homeless, and they don't have money. And they will, for regular health care, just charge the emergency room because there's this little clause where the doctors have to serve the sick so they're going to serve the sick and you're going to have this influx through the emergency rooms and they skip out on the bill and that's how it works much like how people build big giant towers go bankrupt and don't pay the bill and they're in massive debt, but they look rich. But these people look like they have health care, but they're just going to the uh, health emergency room. And they're skipping out on the bill. And doctors don't like that. Doctors don't get paid. And doctors... <clears throat> Meanwhile, if you're wealthy, it's like, oh, yes, doctor this, doctor that. Don't have to stand in line because everyone else is dying on the streets. <laughs> Proverbial proverbial the, the proverbs are dying <laughs> dying thing so saying ASA is a weak substitute for universal health care is a good point but instead of going to universal health care if you get rid of Obamacare you're gonna go exactly down the opposite direction and that's the fact Jack according to Mongoose's back thinking which you don't have to adhere to but whatever <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I took a lot of political science. I'm so sorry I did. It was required of me at the time. So, uh, anyways, let's get more into the uh, paranormal. There's going to be so much politics. We're going to delve more into this paranormal. And welcome to the crew, Flipper. They call him. Faster than lightning. I like how that fl old Flipper TV, faster than lightning, no one you see is smarter than he. So basically, Ranger Rick and Sandy and whoever the little kids are called, they're stupider than the dolphin, or I should say porpoise. They're dumber than the, than the fish. <laughs> Hello. Have a good one. Aloha, uh, hang loose. What? Lovely rain. Lovely rain on this camera, which is 
focusing ever so diligently and going out of focus too. I'll bet you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't leave that on all night long, no. but I just thought I'd check in to say good morning when it was night. <laughs>